In this video, we're going to learn how to blanch and shock. So to blanch and shock vegetables, I want to start with boiling water. Uh, and I'm going to take my pre-trimmed uh, vegetables, in this case we're using green beans, and put them right into my boiling water. There are several reasons that we blanch and shock. Um, the first thing is it's going to be a great time saver for us. So um, if we're making sauteed green beans, and I already have the green beans blanched and shocked, um, have them cooked about three quarters of the way. All I have to do is put them in the hot pan, saute them with you know, my fat and my seasoning, um, and they're gonna cook very, very quickly. The other reason that we're gonna blanch and shock is a quality uh, reason. Uh, the blanching and shocking is actually going to help set the color of the product. So when we do saute our green beans, instead of getting these little shriveled browning green beans, um, we're gonna have really nice, firm, uh, vibrantly green, uh, products. And this is true for, for most of the green vegetables that we're going to blanch and shock. Uh, so like I said, we're doing green beans, but you can do this with a variety of vegetables. Um, broccoli and cauliflower do really well with blanch and shock. You can also blanch and shock meat. The only difference is instead of starting with um, hot boiling water, we would start with cold water and slowly bring it up to a simmer. But the same principle applies. So we're going to cook our product based on the final uh, application. So maybe if I was making a crudité board, I would want these vegetables to still be really, really nice and crisp, right? And I might only cook them for maybe a minute, right? Just to set that color and get that really nice uh, uh, texture in the end. Um, if I was gonna saute them and I wanted them three quarters of the way cooked, I might cook them uh, a little bit longer. So it's really gonna depend on the application that we're using. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook these to about three quarters uh, of the way. And then we're going to go ahead and shock our product. So blanching is cooking the product in our hot water. When we shock, we're gonna shock in what's called an ice bath. Uh, so you can see we have a bowl with ice that we filled uh, with water just to cover the ice. We do wanna make sure that uh, there's still a good amount of ice left in our bowl, right? So we don't wanna have a bowl of water with just a couple ice cubes because we're trying to shock, right? Really rapidly drop down uh, that temperature. And it's that combination of the blanching and the shocking that's going to really um, set that color uh, for our product. Right. So I'm using a spider strainer here. Okay. Give it a test. Okay. Still a little on the crisp side for cooking to about that three quarter of the way. I want to make sure that we have our uh, temperature hot enough so that it's boiling. You can see I'm at a simmer here. Uh, you know, just a few little bubbles coming up through. So I'm going to turn up my heat a little bit, get it back up to that boil. Okay, so checking my green beans, and they're about the texture I want them. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead, remove the green beans with my spider strainer, right into my ice bath. going to make sure to kind of stir my green beans around, make sure that they're really getting into contact with that ice water so they're not just a big lump of green beans with the ice water around them. I really want to make sure that I rapidly chill these green beans. Okay. And I also want to make sure that I let them sit in the ice bath until they're completely cooled. Um, this is really going to help make sure that we set that color um, so if I just put them in the ice bath and then immediately remove them, they were still warm in the inside, um, I may get some of that color loss. Whereas uh, when I let them cool all the way, um, I'm really going to ensure that I get that nice color. Okay. So these green beans are pretty chilled at this point. I'm just going to bring some out on the board here for you to look at. 
you see that nice vibrant green color that we have? It's got this really nice dark color and they, they, they just look really, um, I guess, tasty or desirable at this point, right? Um, think about if you've ever put a green bean or asparagus on the grill, right? It's kind of gotten, you know, shriveled and brown. Um, this blanching and shocking is going to prevent that from happening. It's gonna make sure that we uh, end with a really, really nice color and texture. Let's review. We're going to start our blanching by bringing a pot of water to a boil before adding in our product. Next, we're gonna cook our product to our desired doneness, which will be based on the final application that will be used for that product. Finally, we're going to shock our product in an ice bath until completely chilled to help set the color of the product. 